Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Smiley and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to set up a local 5M server, whether that be for testing or whether you're wanting to just fully develop your server and then migrate it over to web hosting, uh, this video is for you. But before we get started, uh, I will say that all of the video, all of the, all of the websites that I'm going to be visiting in this video will be down in the description and then all the tools I'll be using will be down there as well. I do recommend going ahead and uh, installing these uh, programs and becoming familiar with them, uh, but we will not be using them in this video, we'll be using them in future ones. Um, both of the uh, programs are going to be VS Code and LogMe and Hamachi, um, but with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So once we are ready to start, we're going to be going to the 5m.net website. Uh, this is going to be the landing page just right here. We're going to be clicking create your own server. And then from there, we're going to be clicking on host your own server. And it's going to bring you to this page. Um, we're going to be clicking uh, set, uh, setting up a server using TX Admin. Uh, personally, I've only had experience with TX Admin. I've never had any issues with it, so I highly recommend it. Um, but then uh, we're going to be going to the Windows Server build listing. Now, this is kind of up to you which one you're wanting to do. Um, I recommend doing 6248. Um, if you do the latest recommended, TX Admin will be out of date. I mean, it'll work, but it, it I mean, it's not going to be the most updated version of TX Admin. Um, but for uh, the video's, video's sake, we're just gonna be uh, doing 6248. Alrighty, and then once we have that installed, we are going to be going to our file explorer. And so I couldn't remember the name there. Uh, but we're going to be going to their file explorer and we're going to be creating a um, folder just wherever is uh, more convenient for you uh, for me it's going to be my d drive but uh, we're going to be titling it the fx server it needs to be uh, exactly that um, capital f capital x capital s and then the rest lowercase all one word um, and then we are going to be take uh, going going ahead and opening uh, the uh, build that we just installed I'm going to go ahead and control A, control C, it's going to copy it all. You can also just drag it in if it would be a little bit easier for you, but I'm going to go ahead and control V in my FX server. Alrighty, and once that's done, we are going to be locating the FX server.exe. Um, we're going to double click on that, go ahead and open it. This is just going to do its thing. Once it's done, it will open up a new Chrome tab. All right, once we're here, it should autofill your pin. If it does not, it should, your pin will be right here. Uh, yours is obviously going to be different than mine, but we're going to go ahead and link the account. And it's going to ask you to sign in with CR, uh, cfx.re. If you don't have an account, you can easily create one. It takes like maybe two minutes. We're going to go ahead and click continue. It's going to have you uh, re-put in your password. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. And then go ahead and create master account. Oh, whoops, if I could enter in my password correctly. <laughs> All right, and then log in. Once we're here, it's just gonna be step-by-step, step, pretty easy. We're gonna click next. We're gonna change our server name to whatever we want it to be. For the video sake, we're just gonna do uh, test YouTube. And then uh, popular recipes. And since we're using TX Admin uh, and hosting it on our local machine, we're just going to do the CFX default. And then uh, you might want to change this just depending on like where you want, want it to be exactly. Um, my D drive is perfect for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then go to Recipe Deployer. We're going to click on that. This right here really isn't all that important. Just write it just yet, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and click Next. And then this license key part, we are going to be going to uh, keymaster.5m.net it will have you log in with cfx.re um, but you should at this point you should already have an account but we're going to go ahead and click new server and then we are going to title it whatever the server name is there you go and then the initial server ip we're going to put in whatever our, our ip is um, you can find that by just typing in google what's my ip i'm going to have mine blurred out just because i don't want to have everybody know what my personal ip is and then for server type, we're going to be clicking VPS. And then which server provider are you using? We're going to do Zap Hosting. Now, 
even though that we are hosting it locally, uh, we want to go ahead and say we're using using like Zap Hosting or another popular uh, hosting service. Um, the reason for this is if you put other and then myself as the service provider, um, it, there is a chance that you, if you aren't active on your server, you're not uh, starting the server, joining or changing things. If you're not doing that and you just leave it dormant for a while, um, there is a chance that your server uh, will uh, your your server key will be recycled and then the server will be trashed. Um, so we just want to go ahead and do VPS and then zap hosting and then do the captcha and then generate. And then once we've done that, let me go ahead and find, oh, you've exceeded your key limit. Okay. Um, let me just do this. Let me trash one of these. New server, test YouTube one, initial IP, VPS, and then we're going to do zap hosting again. And then I am not a robot. I'm going to go ahead and generate the key. You guys won't have that issue if this is your first time doing it, but we're going to copy our key. Then we're going to head back over to TX admin and paste our key in and then run recipe. Shouldn't take that long. Uh, generally, what this is doing is just creating your server.config file and then your resources folder. So as you can see, this is going to be where we put our resources, scripts, mods, anything like that. And your server config is exactly that. It's just a config file for our server. Um, but we can go ahead and minimize out of that and then uh, click next. This right here is going to be that server config file. You can edit it in TX admin, like on the website on the local host, and then your port. Um, just you can edit it here and then save it, and then it'll save it on your local machine. Or you can uh, edit it on the local machine, save it, and then it'll it'll uh, reflect the changes here on this website. But we're going to go ahead and click save and run server. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and click on dashboard, and then we're going to wait for the server status to go online. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and minimize out of Chrome, minimize out of the, uh, the FX server.exe. We do not want to close this, though. If you close this, it will shut the server down. And we're going to minimize out of all this. And then we're going to open up 5M. Now, the uh, video may lag. I do not have the best computer. <laughs> um, I, I have just enough resources to uh, run 5M and uh, host a server, and that's about it. So um, there is a chance that the video will lag. I do apologize for that. Alrighty, and once we're in uh, 5M, uh, sometimes uh, you will have the connect uh, to, and uh, it'll say connect to, and then your device's uh, name. Um, other times, if you don't have that, if you don't see that, and you know that the server is running, you can hit F8 to open up your console, and then type in connect local host. Um, connect space local host. Local host is all lowercase, uh, all one word. Once you do that, it is going to have a, a pop up like that. If you do see it say monitor and then just yada, 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 um, and it just says that for a while, you can cancel it and then just reconnect. Sometimes it does have an issue. Now, the uh, first time loading into the server, it is going to take a few minutes, two to five minutes, just depending on your system specs and also if you're running off of an SSD or a hard drive. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this and I'll be ba uh, back in just a second, guys. Awesome. So uh, once you uh, make it this far, you do know that your server has worked. Um, I will go ahead and say that uh, now that we are in the server, um, you need to understand that this is like the base game of GTA 5. There is no infrastructure to it. So if I hit escape and I go to my map, as you can see, there are no blips on the map whatsoever. This is completely, um, it's completely empty for, uh, for like for you to customize exactly how you want it. So and the way you do that is you would install scripts or mods or anything like that. And we'll cover that in future videos. But um, the only thing that the server does have on it is going to be uh the one thing that the server is going to have on it um is your tx admin um console menu go ahead and close out of my console um you can do that by just tapping typing in slash tx in the uh, chat box for some reason mine isn't working i'll have to figure out what's causing that issue in the future you guys should not have that issue um but you do have this uh, little menu um where you can uh, no clip turn on god mode super jump uh set your character back to normal um, you can teleport, uh, spawn in any vehicle. We're going to go ahead and do that. Just to show you that it does work. Um, but uh, you also have an option to heal yourself or everyone on the server. Send an announcement. Hello. There we go. Um, and then reset the world area and then toggle player IDs. Toggling player IDs will show your Steam name and then the ID that the server has assigned you. If you hit tab, you can change over to uh, view all of the players in one giant thing um 
then if we hit tab again, it does open up your TX admin, uh, like console, dashboard, server config, resources, all of that. Um, you'll be able to access it here. Um, and we'll cover this a little bit more in depth in, in, the, in a future video. Um, but if you just want to get in here, mess around, no clip, no clip around the, the server and all that. The next service we're going to be covering how to use uh, log me and hamachi to allow other uh, people friends that you might have uh, that want to test out the server with you um, we'll be covering how to let them join your server um, without using a hosting service or without port forwarding um, it's, it's a pretty easy process the video will be a real short one um, but with all that being said if you guys did enjoy the video if you got value out of the video i would really appreciate a like and then if you want to um, stay tuned to the future, uh, future videos that I'll release on uh, building this server uh, to exactly how you'd like it to be. Um, you can turn always subscribe and then turn on uh, post notifications through there. Um, but with that being said, you guys have a great rest of your day.